Hello and welcome to episode 70 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 as the Roman Empire. In the last episode, we died. We were playing as uh, Emperor Bardas the Enlightened, the 87 year old, and he finally died. Now we're playing as Sebastianus III, the third Sebastianus that we have played as, and he's feeling fine, which is nice, but what is not nice is the fact that we have this big faction going on. It's going to fire in four months. We're trying to kill her, Maria. Hello, Melissa of Syria. And it's not really working out. People don't want to kill her, apparently. So we need to speed this up somehow by bribing some people. I'm going to get critical stress though because I'm paranoid. Is there something I could do about that? Okay, that's that's kind of bad. Is it because I'm irritable? Apparently. I'm also reclusive. But we cannot... That's just the first stress level though, it, it's okay. Because I need to kill her, and I think we could do this this way. I'm going to invite this person. We're also going to put you on court intrigue, and you on helping out with schemes. And I think that's going to help a bit. We're not no murderers, so if we get caught that's going to be kind of bad, but... This is about the future of the Empire. We are not endorsed by Patriarch. And that's severely stopping our money that we could get from him. See that? We're still still making a lot of money. And I gain the stress level. No biggie. Because that only gives us minus fertility. You are not getting out, my man, and need Yeah, she might get out. I feel like the f music is kinda too loud. Actually, then I'm just going to do that. Hopefully, it's going to be slightly better. Uh, time run, speed 4. Is he humble? We could try. He's kind of young. He's also kind of young, though. She's very learned, though, so that's the important thing. They can get that child. Oh, he actually did like that. Very good. Because we have. That's kind of a good chance, actually. Is there someone else we could potentially. No. We could kill her. It might fire off. About to save time as this is going to fire off. That's the only thing. I really wish the engines would be available. I don't. I have no idea why they're not available. Because I'm not currently using them. So that's kind of weird. They are at maxed out sizes, my men at arms. And apparently my levies are decreasing because my... Apparently my vassals are killing them off or something. It seems like in the region fighting. Hmm. It's kind of a high chance. And a low chance getting caught out. And she is dead. Look at that face. Yeah, she's homely. She's not that attractive. Because she's dead. And that decreased her power by a lot. Which is kinda good. There's no one we could imprison. Too bad, actually. This is going to fire off then. In how long? One month that we're going to have this new civil war going on. As always, we do know it's going to happen. So who's the new person of Italy? This four-year-old child. Okay. It's going to happen, guys. Very soon. Come on. Fire off. Here we go. Never going to happen. I will not be threatened. Rally the troops. Are my allies any help? No. Or 
she's kinda strong. Is she any strong? No. You? Because I have two allies that are actually kind of okay. That's a ba basically like two. So they're going to decrease our splendor. We are significant. And I don't need you. I could make use of this money now. Pay for mercs. Oh, it's actually kind of worth a lot. There we go. We need to replace our chancellors, which we lost. Hmm. We could, we could put her into the position. She's a powerful vassal. He's better than she is, but that's going to do a lot. And she's very powerful because we know about Burgundy. Like, look at that. She's probably my, one of my absolutely strongest vassals. How strong is the rebellion? They are slightly stronger than I am. But I guess, like, the... Who's the strongest one? Aquitaine is strong. Bulgaria is strong, of course, but it seems like Aquitaine is the strongest one, together with Syria, Sardinia. There's a lot of kings in here. So I think focusing on this area could be good, because that's this guy as well. They have a lot of the accumulated power of this rebellion, which I do want to kill off. Hmm. So there is Bulgaria's army. There is the Duchess here's army, that's the army of this one. Serbia is probably going to be raising this as well. Hmm. How are we going to go about this? That's the uh, equity army. So how are they already here? That's kind of peculiar. And there's a big army as well. I would like to kill that off if possible. We really need to put some thinking into this. Oh, I probably shouldn't let the time run. That was kind of stupid. Um, because I'm wasting time. Bulgaria is very strong. Aquitaine is extremely strong. I would like to catch the Aquitaine army out before they're able to consolidate. The problem is, this is a lot of mountains. That's wrong. Hmm. So that's Aquitaine's army is not raising here because their army is already over here. We have Syria as well. They're kind of strong. Yeah, we did lose renown because of that because we call a dynasty in. Too bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and kill off Aquitaine. So that's our men at arms. away those ransom things. We're going to use the teleporting of troops to our advantage. Hopefully we can catch this guy and kick him out of war. We didn't. We captured Count though. Count and Prince. So here is called Count, here is called the Prince. That's kind of interesting. So we, built, we killed off that army. How many? Basically. We killed about five and a half k. That that's very good. We didn't lose a lot. And now we're going to use teleportation to our advantage. So go back. They're probably going to Constantinople because that's basically the way the AI always plays this game. Okay, so we killed the small army without even noticing it. Yeah, they're going to Constantinople with a big chunk of their army. And I'm basically going to. They're going to go. They're going to have this recently embarked deficit penalty to their. Like the morale and stuff. To the advantage they get on fighting. They're trying to siege down Constantinople. As we can see. We're going to see how big of an army that is. Probably going to move. 
this slightly out of the way. This is plains, 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 plains. That's hills. Okay, so Bulgaria died and rejoined. They are stronger than we am, than we are. But if we hire mercs, this may might be kind of possible. It seems like we lost out on some of them because they are probably getting hired by our enemies. But this shouldn't. They shouldn't be allowed to hire the Rangians. They are basically the emperor's own army. They shouldn't be allowed to hire my troops. Okay. That that's not okay. In my opinion. We're going to go about this this way. We're going to snipe this small force here. Okay, someone forced herself to become my something. I think she was Marshall. And I'm going to put you in the vicinity and just hire every merc that's possible to hire. Because I saw their troops coming for me. And I also want here. No, no, no. I don't want. I don't want to. I, I want. Take this one. Raise everyone I could raise here. Because they are not able to raise everyone. Yeah, I, gave, I gave fame because of that. Okay. You are still gathering up forces. But that's enough. That's enough to go and kill those guys out. And you're going to join up with them. Is this my best commander though? That's my wonder. Basically. What's that? Can I, can I please get the interface? Come on. I feel like I, I get some lag. I can't see what that is. But we're going to take this case slightly better. Okay, so we are apparently not getting the worst of, of this because someone is bugging out. We're going to go about this this way. They are going to catch those guys. And then we're going to come in with the reinforcements to kill them off. Basically just wipe them out. You're going to join up. I'm going to go kill those guys off as well. This is going kind of well. Yeah, their army is very weak now. We all, of course, want to enforce the mods in this war. Because we want to be able to imprison everyone. If possible. But if I cannot do that, I was going to have to go for white peace. But you never know. How it's going to work out. Okay, we're going to get some slight lag. We captured... Navarra is out of war. Very good. They're weaker now. That's a big army. That's a kind of big army. Those armies are going away. We could go and siege down Bulgaria. We have Paulicians in Bavaria. Too bad. I don't like the Paulicians right now. Okay, so. I'm going to split you up. I want my managers to do some sieges, basically. Get that war score. But potentially, just kick those guys out of the war. When those guys are talking about the Bulgarians. And now we have this. Okay, so that, 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 there are a big chunk of enemies here. They're probably going for Constantinople. The, because that's apparently the only thing that the AI is capable of doing. It's going for Constantinople. That's their basic strategy they, that they use every time. 
Oh, very good. Is it the fighting against me? Yeah, it is actually. And that's kind of stupid. Alternative reading. Okay, we might just try that. Try it out. Yeah, we're gonna try and catch them. I think we did catch them. Very good. Because we have an organizer, we could have used it. Some people are converting to pollution. Pollutions. And I guess that's too bad for them. But I'm not going to bother that much. We didn't capture anyone important. Okay. Just count. Count. Some mayors. Suleiman, are you any good at fighting? He's kind of, he's kind of good at fighting, but not enough to be used. Okay, so we, we kill those off. We have uh, enough war school to be a nuisance to them. Is okay, so you're done? Go and siege that down as well. They have all of my siege equipment. I want to be able to split those guys off. Yeah, you. Go and help them off. Come on, guys. You know about this. You know about this. And I, I feel like they're going for my guys here. Feel like they are. You stick together. We're going to catch some guys here. Okay, so they're trying to go f swipe my men at arms here in this area. I do feel like okay. At least we gain fame. They have a numerical advantage, and they're going to be the defenders in the hills. Yeah, they are. Which means we're going to need to help them off. Before they do die. A secret. Yeah, you put a person in Yale. We're going to kick those guys' asses. He's a he's a king as well, Galicia. We didn't capture him though. That's the bad thing. It's 18 months. That's that's a waste of time. Uh, no. So apparently we have a peasant uprising at the same time now. Uh, it's not that bad though, it's kind of okay. This war is going very well, we have killed off a bunch of their soldiers. Hopefully I could hire some more mercs. Like those guys. And I ca could use those guys potentially. To Those people. Because they are on the levees and these are men at arms. They're much better at fighting. We are defending as well. So that's going to help us out. You should just go go back. This is this is unnecessary to be in this area. Okay, so how is this going? It's working out. Tony troubles. Could some make someone my? I'm going to make him my best friend. I like best friends. And we won the peasant uprising. Awesome! I'm going to expand you. And I'm going to re-raise you. I love it when we can capture the guy in the first try. Could I recruit you, my man? I could. 
as a commander at Hetarii. Hetarii. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to pronounce it. They are giving me money. I love money. Money is amazing. Okay, so that's not enough. We need more siege equipment. Where is my siege equipment? I feel like I have lost a lot of siege equipment. Did they die in that fight? Apparently they did. Apparently I lost a lot of siege equipment in that fight. So they're going to need to replenish. Otherwise this is not going to happen. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I could, I could re-raise those guys then. That's enough. Now. We have about 50%. We're probably getting a ticking war score because we hold the capital. Yes, we are. That's good. And they're probably going for Constantinople again. And we finally got the perk. So we can go for Befriend. Awesome. Sebastianus. He could marry. Okay. He is comely and intelligent. Hope preferably someone with two. Or more. Like this girl. Because some inbreeding always works out, of course. We all know about that. It always works. Yeah, so they're, go they're going. For they're basically going for Constantinople. You m might just go and help them out. I don't need as many tr those this amount of troops doing this shit. When they siege down Constantinople, because they have they have some troops. This is going to be a final big battle. I th I do think. Ah, bloody lag. Yeah. Hopefully we can catch them. I don't know, but we might be able to. Yes, we were able to. Awesome. A servant of the Horned God. I could become a witch. Why the hell not? I'm going to be a witch. <laughs> We are a witch. Our grandfather was a very learned man, a pious man. We are basically a witch. A witch. <laughs> what does that bring to us? What can we do while being a witch? I have no idea. I haven't, I haven't been a witch in this game so far. This is the first time I'm trying out. And we are known for dedication to our fate. Apparently. Even though I'm actually, I'm actually a witch, I'm known for dedication to my fate. That's hilarious. That that's bloody hilarious. <laughs> awesome. I love that. I feel like we have lost. No, I, I did split those guys up, right? Yes, I have because I like I didn't lose that many men to attrition, right? Because apparently I lost my commander. So we're going to need to try and kill this. That's a big force. They're probably going for Constantinople again. Wait, what happened? Why, why did I lose my siege? I haven't I sieged that down. So I, I managed to lose it. Apparently. You're going to be unsupplied, so you need to go back into my own holdings. And I might just have to split those guys up as well, because they are too big of forces to be supplied by their own. On their own. Yeah, I, c I think they're going to try and snipe those guys. Which is kind of naughty of them. Like, leave my men at arms alone. That's a big... F I think they might be able to kill them off. Because that's a big enemy force. Come on, guys. You, you, bloody hell. I want you to go... Go reinforce, help them out, make them not die, please. I'm going to lose a lot of men at arms in this battle.
But we did win it. Okay, so here we go. Try and catch this guy. If we have an organizer, that's going to be incredible. We do have one. They are defending in the hills. We have a serious disadvantage. But we have the numerical advantage, I do think, to be able to win this. Yeah, we do. It hurt a lot, but we were able to win that battle. Awesome. And we won. Because we captured him. Or he's an heir. And that gave us everything we needed. Awesome. That was actually kind of easy. A disappointment. That was a big disappointment for me. It was too easy. There we go. So we have a lot of guys inside our prison now, I do think. Yes, we do. So what are we going to do about that? Bulgaria is a very big kingdom. But they have some things that they shouldn't have. You are inside my prison, of course. I would like to revoke some vassals, if possible. That's... Okay, so that's the Dutch's fault. That is county. That is that's the Dutch of Bulgaria's fault. But I could revoke that title. Or retract that vassal. And I'm allowed to. So there we go, he's my vassal now. It's because I want to clean up the borders a bit. This is gonna take some time. He's a Duke Crane. He has everything he should have. He's the king of Aquitaine. I think his borders are okay. Yeah, they are. You're just going to stay in there. That's Bulgaria, Crimea. Looks about right. Serbia. It looks about right. Cephalonia. I have no idea where Cephalonia is. I can't see this. Okay, he's he's inside my prison, of course. Uh, okay, so that's Cephalonia. Okay, so he that's his Dior as well, Galicia. I think that's right. You should just stay there. Sardinia, though, they have a lot of things they shouldn't have. I might use this to my advantage. Like, look at Sardinia. I think the the jour, okay, they should have that one, not that one. Basically, but they also have a lot of things here in Anatolia, like counties. That's his vassals somehow. So I'm going to try and retract some of them. And I can only retract one of them without tyranny. But tyranny is not really a bad thing. It's five. It's just five opinion, and I'm going to use that to make Anatolia like me slightly more. There we go. So we made one one person like us instead of the other. Let's see here. That looks about right. That looks about right. His account not important. As of that sounds about Russia. Yeah, it is. Asia. Looks right. It's Sardinia, right? Uh, unimportant people. Some dukes. I think that's yeah, that's okay. The Brucia. That sounds like it's in the Balkan area. Or not? It's actually here. He's not my vassal. And he has everything he should have. Let's let him out. He's not my vassal. Could probably have his... He's a prince. He's the person of Navarra. Looks right. Pontus. Here we have some work to do. Okay, so they have this Duchy of Croatia. And the Dutch of Croatia, they don't have anything inside here. So they, he shouldn't be part of Pontus. So 
So now we have the Duchy of Croatia under, that, under us. Awesome. And I think that might be enough actually to... Okay, to create the Kingdom of Croatia. Give it to him. Oh, wrong one. Grant, tat grant title, rather. Yes, I know. But I also want to grant him Pannonia. And that Duchy. That's part of Bavaria. That looks about right. Now you need to clean up those borders slightly more. Awesome. Is there anyone else we could do something about them? He's of my dynasty. Why is he inside my prison? Okay, you're amazing. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, he, because he belonged to Bulgaria. Apparently. Interesting. Yeah, that's Pontus. She has been inside my prison for a long time. Because, no, that that's okay. That's okay. So we managed to solve that independence war. Know your place, apparently, is an achievement I got. I think I've gotten that before, but... Apparently not. You're not getting out. Rufinia. Interesting. Kinda strong. Kinda new. Didn't exist before. There are some stronger kingdoms, but nothing in comparison to us. Like, look at this. Everyone else is so weak in comparison. That's nice. And I think that dealt with, like, all of the factions that were a problem right now. We have this French Lollards. But that's peasants. And then we have this independence faction. Which is kind of strong. But I could solve this now. By. Doing that. And then trying to. Be friend. Which is something we're going to focus on in the next episode. Stabilize the realm by befriending people. Just like our father did. So like subscribe if you have enjoyed this video guys. We solved that civil war. <laughs> like the 20th in line or something like that. Every time we have a succession. We have a succession war. Which is kind of historical. It happened in the real empire as well. Every time they switched emperor, stuff happened. <laughs> it's Roman politics. And very much Byzantine politics. But I'll see you next time, guys. See you soon. Bye.